Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Rothman and I'm a high school teacher here at Monarch High School in Coconut Crest. As an English 4 teacher, I like to give my students a connection with what they read to the real world. So in senior English, students read an essay by Scott Russell Sanders called The Man We Carry in Our Minds where he talks about how he, through his existence, he has changed his mind or has grown in his perception of men and women and their specific roles in life. And I took that essay, I showed them a Tag Talks by Hannah Rosen called New Data on the Rise of Women, where she talks about how women are getting education at a lot faster than men. For every two boys that graduate from college, three girls do, and 50% of college students are actually women. And moreover, more women are earning their PhDs than men. And this is not only in America, this is all over the world. In India, women are learning English at a faster rate, and so they're taking over the call center jobs. As a matter of fact, women are dominating the workforce in the world if they have no children. If they do have children, uh, you see, still see a pay gap and you, see, you still see how men are dominating. Generation Z women are earning uh, more than men. So young men out there are earning a little less than women. In China, women are starting their business before men. In South Korea, couples are no longer preferring boys as their firstborn. The wage gap has steadily narrowed since the past 70 years. 1948 to 2018, you see that that, is, uh, that gap is narrowing. You know, there are good and bad news about this. In a way, I feel compassion to this new generation of men. You know, I feel a little bit uh, sorry for them in a way. But, but I also feel that as I learned in the essay, as my students learn in the essay, the men we carry in our minds, that is really no longer about men and women in gender roles. And women, they suffer, really depending on their circumstances. They suffer a man in the ghetto and a woman in the ghetto or a woman in a farm or men in farm or a woman in poverty or a man in poverty. They all uh, suffer equally. It's not because they're men or they're women that they're necessarily better. They're just partners in life. And that's the main idea about that essay. And I think it's actually the main idea that Hannah Rosen is trying to tell us is that regardless of what's happening, if women are getting better, more education, or if they're taking over the employment um, market, bottom line is that uh, they're friends. Hi guys, just wanna thank you so much for watching my third vlog. Hope that those best practices will really help you in your field. Uh, thanks again for watching my vlog uh, number three. Take care.